Auditorium. For the class of 2018, Mr. Gavin Harris. Good evening, guests and fellow students. I'm Gavin Harris, this year's salutatorian of the class of 2018. And I'll be honest with you, I'm quite terrified to be up here. As I ramble on about the possible future of my class, we made it. When I was first told by Ms. Lois that I was going to be delivering the salutatorian speech, I groaned. Sure, I'm taking the class. Yay, celebrations all around and all that. But I'm not the kind of person who delivers speeches. Well, I'm the kind of person who wants to get right to the point and be done with it. Not the best thing you want in a salutatorian speech that should last around five to six minutes. But as I began typing, the words just came out. Some had to be erased to maintain family friendliness, others just kind of stuck. But my job as a salutatorian is to try and predict our future the best I can. So here goes. This is a big step forward in our lives. For some of us, it's where we finally head out and get a job, while for others, it's just one more step before college where we have gained new skills and abilities to further ourselves in the world. We are going into an unforgiving world. Life will definitely not try to kill us outright, but it will still not be a walk in the park, as it has been for some of us for the first 18 years. But hopefully, it will be worth it. The journey we have ahead of us will be difficult, but equally rewarding, as long as we are willing to put forth the effort, which I think some of us are willing to do. But as we leave the safety and luxury of our homes and parents, we must realize that it is not the same world our parents ventured into. It is more advanced than it was 20 years ago, and will be even more advanced for our children. Our world is constantly changing, growing, and evolving. Each passing day, something new is discovered, invented, or improved. 300 years ago, life was much harder than it is now. 200 years ago, better, but still not perfect. 100 years ago, even more improvement, barring the depression and two worldwide conflicts. The future is not something we can do as easily as the past, even though that camera is still a bit muddled. But what the future is, is a constantly changing, morphing blob of infinite possibilities. Even now, we live in an effective paradise. We travel around the world in hours and what used to take months or weeks. We can order stuff online and have it delivered to our front door in a day. Sure, fiction writers of yours imagined us having space travel at this time, which we do, but just not at the scale they had hoped. But we, they did not anticipate Amazon, cell phones, the internet, sky cream, 3D printers, just to name a few. The internet was supposed to be a fad, and yet it became one of the most integral parts of modern human society, for better or for worse, you judge. But all of this is just the tip of the iceberg. 3D printers, just a decade ago, were expensive machines that could make simple cubes or maybe a jack-o'-lantern if you put enough plastic into the piece. Now, we're applying artificial intelligence, fusion reactors, nanotechnology, and genetic engineering slowly the research becoming reality, and quickly becoming even more efficient than the fictional counterparts. In the future? Well, I can't give a certain prediction of what's going to happen in the future, but I can give a few guesses. Some people say we will live in bunkers out of the ground after a nuclear war. Others will say we live in cities that are massive spires of progress covered in aeroponic gardens that are nearly entirely self-sustaining. Personally, I hope to live in an orbital station with a rotational gravity, watching ships come and go through my window, looking down at Earth, marveling at the birthplace of humanity. I hope to glance at a ship equipped with an interplanetary engine, equipped zoom off towards a freshly colonized Mars. My wish for each of my classmates is that you find courage to chase your dreams, remember to take pride in how far you have come, and have faith in how far you can go. The future is unwritten, and we are its authors. Congratulations to my fellow classmates. Oh, and don't forget to be awesome.